ni vizuri ujue Mungu kwa upande wako na hata kama uko peke yako now you are the majority because the issue is not the way you appear the issue is who is on your side pia Yesu makofi anakupenda now this time tunajiadaa sababu ya holy communion tukati sasa we have a topic to share shortly in ahusu areas to overcome areas to overcome Area moja ambao mtu atakiwa ashide kuna kitu kinaitwa wrong status wrong status umejipata uko kiwango abacho it's wrong vile watoto wako wanasoma this is too bad this should not be this way ukijilinganisha na utukufu wa Bwana utazame Bwana aliyekuita na vile alivyomshidi na vile ahadi zake zinakaa na uangalie vile unalala na vile unakula na vile mnakaa unasema i want to address the issue of wrong status ninakaa kiwango abacho is not good amen, amen. the same with the preaching Unasoma Mariko, unaona Yesu anaponya. Unaona Yesu anaobea hata wakati kuna jaa mikate mitano ya zaibariki. Unaona Yesu anafariji. Alafu wewe unaona the way ninahubiri, the way kuna kaa. I need a better status of preaching. Nataka huduma ambao Yesu ni ukalimu wake unajulikana. Nataka huduma ambao uso wa Bwana uko wazi. Nataka mahali ambapo Bwana aliyetebea Capernaum na akasema hatuachi anaonekana. I say you need to cover an area ambao ni kiwango kisichofaa. Kiwango ambao hakifai. Kitabu cha 2 Kings chapter 7 verse verse 2 inasema hivi nasema hivi verse 2 hey. haya 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 umefika au mimi nimechelewa let's see oh. uh, nasema hivi that is second kings chapter 7 verse 2 kwa nimeenda wapi danieli oh nilikuwa danieli oh. thank you basi mm -hmm. praise god basi verse 3 walikuwapo watu wane wenye ukoma ene moigwa watu wenye wane wenye ukoma nyinyi hamuna ukoma can you imagine you should be better than these people watu wenye wanye wenye ukoma penye lango la muji wakaseme sana bona tukae hapa hata tufe tukisema tuingie mujini mujini mnaja nasi tutakufa humo nasi tukikaa hapa tutakufa vile vile haya twende semeni haya twende e, lazima kuwa na mtu atasema haya twende lazima kutokea sauti inayosema haya tobie haleluya kuna maisha ba, nataka kuwe na kilio cha hore ghost kinaosema haya ah neke haya twende leo nataka leo kenda kwa kwa blake usikie haya twende because these people said tukikaa hapa tutakufa tukirudi kwa watu wetu kuna jam paka wanakula mafi paka wanakula watu now na pia tutakufa na wao lazima kutokea sauti na wasema haya twende god is waiting for that voice and today we must command it kwa maana imekuwa kwamba hata unasjua mali unakaa ukikaa hivyo uzeke hapo na unajua mtu ana maisha mawili he he mzee john unaona mwanza sasa kuinama hivi wewe sikiza miaka ingine 20 ijayo utakuwa kazee tu kana huruma na mugu hata rudia ujana kila mtu alia hapa unasonga Unafikiri bila nakaa hapa bila nyona na siku nyolewa hata mpake chemical hizi tokea. Mm. Haleluya. Habari yenu. Vile mimi naongea kama mzee, ni vigumu sana ati niongee kama kijana siku nyingine. Imambo imeisha. Ndio tutorathie. 
Nyinyi mnaokaa kama utakaa hivyo milele ni kama una chanzi ingine. Hauna chanzi ingine kama ni kuruka ruka saa hii. Ukisikia kuruka kumeleta shida. Kuna miaka itafika ukienda pale matatu ikija. Ukaba mzee faster faster unamwambia then tuna amani. <laughs> Nimeona kijana hapa sasa uzeona sasa usizeke hivyo. Niona siku hizi kabe na 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 nataka kuwe na wimbo mmoja nipime vile utaruka. Nijue tagu nikupatie muke. By the way, wadada tukiwaoa, ninyi mnataka uzee au ni watoto? Haya. Sababu hapo vijana wakiwa siku hizi waruki kama huyu. Tagu lini ukarukia Yesu? Niambie ukweli. Wakati tulipa sana ukaruka. Si ni kabla hujaoa? Eh, ni true. Nauliza, kwani hawa dada mnaita hawa tu uzewa ina maana gani? Au ni akili ya uzewa wako naye? Niuliza ni mwingine. Niuliza mwingine hapa. Ona kwa tauko. Woi, Jehova, haleluya. Wakati wa kusema haya, twende ni saa hii. Kama usemi hivyo, naye Mungu anagojea hiyo. Waliposema haya, twende wakaanza kuelekea kwa jeshi moja liko hapo mbele la Selia bwana akaheshimu haya twende hatua zao zikawa mgurumo jeshi likatoroka likaacha mekate unga dhahabu fedha wakaenda wakashiba na wakaitia the whole nation within one day amen taifa ilikuwa na uchumi bora kuliko England na America because of haya twende leo mtafika hiyo hatua si ukira wakati unakuja sadi fuku la 10 ni shilingi bili paka unaibia mungu unajua mtu haja piga hiyo hatua ana roho nyingine mbaya sana unakuta utakaa hapo mpaka mapepo iko ndani because kuna wakati utakaa kikao ambao mungu amekataa so utasubuana na doto za mashetani kwa na mungu yuko hapo ukipata doto unapata tu ukienda rivers unapata doto unambia bishop nilikibishwa usiku nikaruka kwa shimo nikaamuka nikiwa <laughs> you see doto hapo hasina akili kwa maana mahali umekaa you cannot god cannot speak to you there area that requires cover amen 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 look at this brother brother naitwa Eh uh, at first chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 first chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 inaitwa mambo ya nyakati vijana nyinyi hamjuagi hii maneno ya Kiswahili mambo ya nyakati si namna hiyo chapter 4 verse 9 kuna vijana waliita kitabu cha Exodus kitabu cha kuhama si kuhama haya naye yebesi alikuwa mwenye heshima kuliko duguze na mama yake akamuita jina yake yebezi akisema ni kwa sababu nilimuzaa kwa huzuni now these are two contrasting things ya kwanza hello praise god look at the scripture ni kijana aliyekuwa mwenye heshima kuliko duguze is that okay but the, but the second part has an issue kwamba even if he is honorable mama yake amempa jina yebezi which could not be the original name ni jina la kupadikwa limebeba roho furani kwa maana mama anasema nilimzaa kwa uchungu and i want to put a name that you continually remind this man kwamba you are carrier and cause of pain actually hii jina likata shida because jabezo alipoka he noticed mama yake na watu wote socially wali mwazo zietu na uchungu and demons took advantage na hakuna pasta na muombea sasa kama mama yako ameambia watu wote alikuzana na uchungu na wamama mnaingia leba pe leba mkuu peke yenu wazee hawaingii sasa nani pasta gani ataingilia hiyo majina unajua kuna sababu mengine utaitwa mpaka inabidi wewe mwenyewe muka kusaidia akutokee do you know unaza chekerewa mpaka kila mtu aseme itabidi wewe ugudue mungu wako ni nani 
That's what the Bible says. They that know their God shall be strong. They that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Look at this man. Look at the prayer. It's personal. It's me with God. I discover there is an area that requires cover. There is an area that that area to be overcome. Areas to be overcome. Akasema hivi. Hallelujah. Akasema huyu jabezu. Akamuniria bwana. Akasema laiti kwamba praise god akahebu tugarie kwamba ugenibariki kweli kweli na kunisidisha hozi zangu and jabe said all that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory hallelujah na mkono wako uwe juu yangu and you keep me from evil that i mean that i may not that it may not grieve me that it may not cause pain and god granted him hallelujah amen that i may not cause pain can you do it together and jabez called on the god of israel saying all that you would bless me in and enlarge my territory and your hand would be with me that you would keep me from evil that i may not cause pain so god granted him what he requested you need this cover we are saying areas to overcome let me do something although tunaheshimu wazazi wazazi wengine tutawapa heshima lakini let me tell the truth na munisikize although utaenda kwa mzazi akubariki kuna wazazi wengine utaitabidi uta, urudi ubabariki hamjajua hivyo hamjajua bwana asifiwe Wacha akubariki lakini I'm um, telling the truth kuna wazazi ni we utarudi wabariki kuna baraka zingine mtu upea mtu wewe kama mtoto wa Mungu hapo itabidi wabukize your mother and father hawakuwa nazo originally mama hakuwa nazo hata zijui mama yako alikuwa anaenda sijui kwa wachawi and sometimes mimi napenda waokoke kwanza let's speak the truth if you know your mother is a witch tuge ukweli akikuekrea mikono akubariki anakubariki na nini Halo Bwana asifiwe Ukijua mama yako aliwazaa mke wa tano na nyinyi watano kila mtoto ana baba tofauti hizo ni usharati Ha mnaniangaliaje kama nimekosea kwani mtu kuzaa watoto watano na wazee tofauti hiyo ni nini Hiyo ni soko gani hiyo Sina ubaya, sina kweli. Huyu mama anatakiwa afanye nini kwanza? Atubu hiyo thambi. Now, do you know what happens? Wa mama kama hao, where about kwa first born? Lazima uwe ulishuhudia your mom akileta wanaume kwa nyumba. Where about first born? Huwezi kuwa umekuwa umekuwa tu zetu umekuja tofauti na huku kujua <laughs> Kuna moja idea bia bishop mama yangu kunizaa mimi na sina baba was enough mistake Mama yangu ku, akasema I love my brother aliyekuja baadaye lakini bishop mama yangu asijaribu kuniambia niwe mtakatifu hana haki ya kuogea That girl told me mom nilimfuata injeni wa mama mjuagi That girl walked kilometers Taina girl Mama yake anafanyia usharati odhero. Katoto kado kalieta mguu. Paka one night kalishuhudia mama yake anafanya usharati na mokorido. And I tested, nikajua mom, Rita, unafikiria ukisa mtoto wa pili? Huyu msichana wako anajua haezi jua tulikuwa tunaenda bali. Bali gani? Kana story. Sasa abia msichana mama yake ambariki. 
shida ni kwamba nyumba waliofanyia hawakufunga the girls saw them do that for hours i know it's mom doing it sasa ukimwambia mom ah habari yenu mnaniagraje kwani kwani nyinyi mlifanya hivyo nyinyi wazazi wengi mnaangalia haleluya shida watu nyinyi mnaongeaka mkiwa mwenye vija mimi naongeaka ukweli hapa tunaachana unaenda wanakobolewa wewe unaongea kule nyuma nyuma gani si Mungu anaona kila kitu we need to be delivered friends haleluya and that's why una jukumu as a person as a person to kuleta baraka zako direct from Jehovah and i remember and i can attest to that jabezu kwa maana alibarikiwa hivi and i know this man became a blessing to his mother aba mom i accept the name kwa id but ninalikata in my experience ninakubali uniita hivyo mom but i will never be this way by experience i have met god and god brought a new experience and let me introduce the new experience commander jabezo alijua jina lake linamaanisha uchungu alipokuwa akimalizia obi lake akasema i may not cause pain kumaanisha hivi i'm delivered now from me there will never be pain hey may god bless you can you imagine jabez aliitwa uchungu na mama yake Jehovah terminated the, the pain. So you have to come back and tell mom, please never call another one such a name. Jehovah ni hao kanili. We need to tell some gospel to parents. Si si wazazi ni watu. Tutawaheshimu kama wazazi. Lakini some parents need to be introduced to a higher glory na vijana waliomba. Waheshimu lakini itabidi baba yako anavuta sigara tabidi umuombea okoke amen baba yako ambao ulipata one day akinyonga your mom muombea okoke now may god bless you areas that require cover ni areas whereby umegudua status about ni kodani yake is wrong one let me go to god and get a better one amen when you come they got a better status na wakabukiza wengine haijalishi kama we ndio umetupwa sana kama utaamua mabadiliko god you use you hata kama we ndio mdogo sana in jesus name tutaendelea another day niko na mambo kama 20 hapa inaitwa areas to be covered let's start now for the holy communion mhm mm simama na miguu haraka 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 nyosha miguu hivi bwana fanya hivi kama mtu abaya na azapa yesu akirudi saa hii i amen in case yesu akataka nimsaidie wakati wa rapture ninaweza we naweza ruka sentimita kama kumi. hivi ruka hivi kidogo mwambie in case jesus ukataka kusaidia ah barikiweni pigia yesu makofi <laughs> haleluya haleluya nataka ujichunguze na wapigwa si vizuri kujifanya the areas that you need to overcome kuna mahali ambapo ukijipima na roho wa Mungu aliye ndani yako unasema this is the wrong status amen nikiangalia utukufu wa Mungu na vile siku hizi nakaa hapana this is not good na nikataka hizo area now bwana atupatie power to overcome holy communion now we are going to address areas of wrong status from today na msikubali kudaganywa mungu anataka mtu abaya na anaamua na kona fujo eh wasema hapana hata kama nini this is not good hallelujah hata kama nini sitakuwa nikikura hivi hata kama kuwe nini huduma yangu ni ya hali ya juu hata kama kuwe nini mimi ni mtu wa kubariki wengine sio kuoba oba can you pray for your life now jesus we love you oh our father we honor your name king of kings we worship you lord of lords we worship you bwana wa milele tukupenda 
Mufaume wa haki to kuinua. Make sure you are talking to God seriously. Shakata babozina. Sherere masia taposa. Shekata paposa. Shekete makuta inti di mazaya. Jesus, Jesus. Sauna makata. Speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Halala makata raba. Yes, prophesy. Nena ukua mungu. Nena utakaso Nena ushindi wa Jehovah Nenea nyumba yako Nenea future Nenea mwenendo wako Do it with all your heart Shana bababaza Shendere makasa kota babo 